This video is going to take you through some engagement exercises. So these are the sorts of exercises I do before I do any serious training with my dog. I want her to, I want to know that she's involved, she's looking at me, she's not paying too much attention to the environment, or she's already had a climb, been acclimatised to the environment, um, and now she's ready to engage with me and to watch me. So some of them are very simple, some of them are a bit harder. You have to look at what your own dog is capable of. Um, so just one of a couple of them, a bit more um, physical. Um, so if your dog it has is a bit older or has hard hips or something like this, you might need to change that. Um, so just go with a few things, but I'm just going to give you a bit of a overview of some games that I play. Um, if you know you've got some that work just as well or better with your dog, please go ahead and do them. They are literally just there to know that you, our dog's engaged with us. So one of the first ones I like to make to do is to make sure she's looking at me. So what I'm going to do is tell her she's good every time she looks at me, give her a treat. To start with, I'm going to make it nice and easy. As she returns to me, I'm going to be oriented towards her. And um, so it makes it easy for her to look at me. Good. Um, to, and then as we go on, I'll make it a bit harder. She's got to orient herself towards me this time. Um, so this is just how we do it. So I'm going to have some treats in my hand so I'm ready to go. And then. So I want her to look at me, not the treats. Good. So I'm going to wait for that eye flick. Good. So I'm orienting towards her. She's waiting for me to throw it. Good. So now she's having a bit of a think about this. Good. So if she's um, being a little bit over the top with um, how you're throwing them, you can just pass them to them. You don't actually have to throw. Good. Again, I'm waiting for that eye flick to get to me. Good. I'm going to ask her to orient herself. Good. Um, so it's literally just engaging with me as opposed to engaging with treats in your hand. Um, the other thing you can do is just keep the treats away. You don't have to have them in your hand for this. Um, so I can just wait to see if she'll come back towards me. Good. So it took her a little while to work out what she was supposed to do and whether she could get another treat. She came and touched my hand. She loves doing a hand touch. Good. So there, you couldn't see, but she was actually looking between the hand and the bag, and then she went, oh, actually, I need to look at you. So it's just a couple of games. It gets a little bit easier. We don't normally do this one. Um, we do hand touches and things. Um, but for a very beginner game, it's a really, really good one. Good. she's not orientating herself right in front of me, at the corner of my eye I'm looking at her and she is looking straight into my eyes. So another good one um, that's often played um, is just getting them to come in between your legs. So, <laughs> this one, good. I don't normally do it with a treat. As you can see my dog is so treat oriented only paying attention to the tree, but I wanted to see how you would lure them round. Good. So that's the way you lure them in. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'll certainly be up for it, yeah, and I think that's just, yeah. Good. So if you're not yeah, doing a lure, meantime, you can just bring them round. <laughs> Good. And then you know they're following your hand as well. Good. So some dogs aren't comfortable in this position and some are overly comfortable in this position. And the other good one you can do, I like doing games with legs because they're actually following you. And you've always got your legs on you so you can literally do them anywhere before you do a recall session, before you let your dog off a lead out in the park. So you know they're actually waiting for you to give them treats, they're looking at you, they know you've got treats and they know you're up to giving them out. 
Again, I'm going to lure, lure her to show you, but she's going to be a bit over enthusiastic, so just be careful. Good. And I'm lifting the leg up high because it actually encourages them. And so after a while, you don't have to lift that leg up, but it is a much smaller gap for them to go through if you don't. So just be aware of that. And then you can start doing it where they're not following a tree. Good. And then you can start linking them together. So that's a good one to play. Um, a touch game is quite good. So if they know a basic touch, I have a tutorial on the touch. If they don't, um, it's a really good one to get some moving as well. Touch. Yes. So give us the treat fairly frequently. If they're not used to doing touches after every touch, if they're used to doing more, then you can do a few more, but this is to get them looking at you. So I'd be quite free with your treats at this point. Touch. Good. Touch. Good. Touch. Yes. And you can do them nice and low. Touch. Yes. You can do them a bit higher. Yes, good girl. Um, so that's quite a good game to get them moving, especially the higher ones if they're happy to jump at you. Some dogs aren't happy to jump at you. Um, if you don't use treats, there's a few games that you can do that dogs are find self-rewarding so you don't have to use treats for. Um, if you don't have a treat oriented dog, some of these might be a bit better. A bit of personal play. So um, for those dogs that might get them interested, excited, come on then. ideas to get your dog involved and interested in the games that you're about to play um, before you get going into your actual training. Give them a go. If you've got any questions, let me know. Um, if you've got any ideas of other ones that you'd like to do, um, then let me know as well and I might be able to 